Well, it's being called a stunning upset. After a two-year search and thousands of votes cast, Canada now has a national bird, but it's probably not the bird you would expect. CTV's Aaron Paul is joining us now with the details. Aaron, I know you are personally upset about this. This is causing a real flap. It is <laughs> in the newsroom, indeed. We, it's the story everybody is talking, talking about. about because it is a bit of a stunning upset. So the bird chosen is known as the Grey Jay, otherwise called the Whiskey Jack. It beat out a number of better known, perhaps more favored Canadian birds, like the loon, for example, the snowy owl, the Canada goose, and the chickadee. Now this contest was run by the Royal Canadian Geographical Society, and more than 50,000 Canadians voted online for their favorite bird. But, and this, is the stunning upset. The Grey Jay actually came in third in voting behind the loon and the snowy owl, but was chosen after a public debate and deliberations by a panel of experts. So why is the Grey Jay so quintessentially Canadian? Have a listen to this avian expert whose name is Dr. David Bird. The range almost mirrors the borders of Canada. It's a very hardy bird. It does not migrate from Canada in the wintertime. You've got smart, friendly, and tough. Does that epitomize a Canadian or what? So Bird also said science has proven it's the smartest bird on the planet. Very friendly. They will come out and land on your outstretched hand. And he defended skipping over the more favored loon and snowy owl by saying those were symbols for Ontario and Quebec. So hardy friendly, smart, lives in all parts of this country, doesn't go south in the winter, that is the official argument for picking the Grey Jay. Uh, do, not, do looks not count? I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the whole... Compare that bird to the snowy owl, or which the, is majestic. So you're team snowy you, owl, I'm, I'm team loon. Loon, oh, Aaron. Nothing more Canadian than the call of a loon. Okay, this argument is being played on a social media. Yeah, uh, it, tweeting, if I may <laughs> add. <laughs> Ruffled feathers for sure. Have a look. I'm sorry. I can't let this go. We need to protest. What do we want? Common loon. When do we want it? Canada's 150th birthday. Also, even in Canada, the popular vote doesn't seem, doesn't win, it seems. I don't mind, though. I still love these guys. And why is the Grey Jay now Canada's bird? Does its call sound like sorry? Does it live on poutine? There is one person very happy about this choice, though. NBC reporter Jay Gray, we often have him on this channel, he tweeted this out. Yes, Canada, you are the wind beneath my wings. And he's proudly wearing a Canada sweatshirt. Now, a lot of people are comparing this stunning upset to that of Donald Trump's victory. So much so, in fact, there is now a hashtag trending Marcia, not my national bird. I'll send it back to you. <laughs> Oh, that's great. You Aaron, can't make this stuff up. You can't. It's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome.